Hello and happy Friday from Sunrise Cereals. I'm your host, Richard Pochard, and today we make our way through another exciting installment of the adventures of Captain Marvel. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm rather impressed with our intrepid heroine. Betty Wallace is played by the beautiful Louise Curry, who was born Louise Gunter in 1913. Like her fellow Oklahoman, Billy Benedict, she moved to California to pursue an acting career, although she first went to college on the East Coast. She attended Max Reinhardt's drama school in L.A., where she was spotted by talent scouts. Her film career began in 1940 and was mostly comprised of B-movies and later television. She did a couple of serials and landed a bit part as a reporter in the epic Citizen Kane. Overall, her acting career was not satisfying to her, and she retired after only 16 years in the business. She and her husband opened an import-export antique shop in Beverly Hills. This life seemed to agree with her, as she lived to be 100 years old. Shortly before her death, she achieved some small fame as the last surviving cast member from Citizen Kane. She was always proud of her work in this serial, and at age 97, she made a special appearance at the showing of a restored copy of the first chapter. But we're already on Chapter 8, Boomerang. Scorpion. The plane has taken off and will drop the demolition bombs on the shack in a few minutes. Leave the shack immediately. Come on, that plane will be over in no time. Billy, I'm going to call Captain Marvel. He can get us out of here. No, I can't. I mean, he can't. You missed. Hey, it ain't easy to hit a moving target. The target isn't moving. No, but we are.
them. Betty, Betty, you all right? Well, I got loose just in time. This is dangerous business, Betty. For your own good, you better give up your job. Oh, I can't quit now, Billy. I've got a real clue to the scorpion. How's that? When they took me to the scorpion, I shot at him. And I injured his hand, the right one. Well, then if the scorpion's one of the scientists, we'll spot him at the meeting tomorrow. Well, come on, we got a lot of hiking to do. And Captain Marvel got the girl out. I'll remove Captain Marvel in due time. Yeah, but how? The same as always, I Pinky. Weapon, ruling the world. I must have those other lenses. And Billy Batson. Continually interferes. We meet today, and Batson will be there. I count on you to take care of him. I've got one trick that never misses. But how about your hand? Won't that give you away? Don't worry, Barnett. I've taken care of that. Billy Batson, Autograph Hound. and then the golden scorpion and the lenses ought to be there. But Dr. Lang keeps a guard on the gate day and night. Oh, uh, there you go, spoiling my fun again. Is that Lang's hat and coat? Yes, why? If I wear these and take his car, I'll bet I can get by those guards. Dr. Lang, he wants to leave soon. Tell him I had to take his car and keep him here as long as you can. Man, I didn't know installing a CD player was going to take so long. Who's that? Must be Lang. It's his car. Come on, let's go. How do you want it set? She'll blow when the speedometer hits 50. Because that's much more effective than just wiring it to the ignition. Dr. Lang, are you leaving so soon? Oh, yes, I, I have some very important work to attend to. I'm terribly sorry, but your car isn't here. Billy had to borrow it. What do you mean? Well, Whitey was supposed to pick him up, but he didn't get here in time. Uh, yeah, I kind of got tied up, but I'll be glad to take you any place you want to go, Dr. Lang. Never mind. Uh, I'll call a cab. No, it's no trouble at all. All right, then. But I must get to my home immediately. It's a pleasure. Very well, come on. You ready? All set. Let's get out of here. Hello, 
Dr. Lang. Hello. Why, it's Billy Batson. We've got to stop him. your hands and keep them high. Search him. What are we doing? Leave him there. Come on. a little faster. I'm in a hurry. I don't like to drive over 50 miles an hour, Dr. Lang. Then let me drive. I'll step it up a bit. Oh, thank goodness! I'm wearing a London Fog coat. He always looks so surprised when the bullets bounce off. You think he'd be used to it by now. Scorpion. Well, what do you mean? Scorpion was wounded in the hand yesterday. Since you're the only suspect with a bandaged hand, I knew... Well, I can explain that. Perhaps you can also explain why the Scorpion's men attacked me when I came in here. Well, you must have done something to annoy them. Of course I can, but it's not safe out here, Billy. Let's go into the house. I'd be glad to. I'd planned on searching your house anyway. I have no objections. Come on. Won't you make yourselves comfortable, gentlemen? Benson, it's uh, rather cold in here. Can you turn on the furnace and uh, give us plenty of heat? Yes, sir. I 
can believe the story of your injury, Dr. Lyne. <coughs> but how do you explain the Scorpion's men being here? They're after me. The Scorpion wants my lens. Perhaps, but... Gee, I'm getting so sleepy. I... Well, it has been a pretty boring conversation yeah. so far. wouldn't allow me to leave, so I, I'll gas him. I understand, sir. What do you wish to do with him? I imagine Whitey will be all right. But if the Scorpion's men find Billy, they'll kill him. So I have to take him to a safer place. Come, Benson, help me to get him into the car. We've got to catch him. of the way through this serial and we haven't even looked at the suspects who might be the scorpion and two of them have already been killed off we'll look at who's left on monday meanwhile let me know how i'm doing in the comments and if you like today's episode then give it a thumbs up every little bit of feedback helps is anyone keeping track of who owns which car will whitey sleep through the rest of the serial is it really a cliffhanger when the bad guys are driving the exploding car? Have a great weekend, and I'll be back on Monday with Chapter 9, Dead Man's Trap. Hope to see you then. Hey everybody, it's Richard again, and if this is the first time you're viewing my series, you've already missed a lot, so why not subscribe, and that way you'll never miss another exciting cliffhanging moment. Subscribe today!